to recite the ziyara of Imam al Hussein. Ziyarat Ashura, by far the most important of the visitation and devotional texts of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Which, if you're not in the habit of reciting it throughout the year, then at least try and maintain this habit throughout these two months, Muharram and Safar. Ziyarat Ashura, brothers and sisters, is so incredible. It has seven different chains of transmission. I don't have time to get into the authenticity of the, of the ziyara, but seven different chains. Our most senior scholars have reported it, have mentioned it in their text. It is in fact hadith on Qudsi. Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam narrates it from his forefathers going all the way back to Jibra'il and after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This incredible text inside of which you find Tawheed, unicity of Allah. You find Nubuwa, prophethood. You find Imam, divine leadership. You find Adl. And you find Qiyamah, Ma'ad. And you also find Tawalli Antabarri. Allegiance to the righteous servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disassociation and damnation from their enemies. You find it all in one text. It contains incredible prayers and du'as. It contains the most sublime form of worship, sujood. It contains asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise us with the best of the best on the day of judgment. Ziyarat Ashura is this kind of text. And so once again, is it a surprise when you read the narrations that speak of the rewards associated with Ziyarat Ashura. That Imam al-Baqir says that if you read it, obviously believing in the contents of the Ziyara, Allah will give you the reward of all of his prophets and messengers. Again, I said this last night, the sad, tragic reality that we're dealing with is that you have people from within our community if they were a bunch of Nasabis, we wouldn't be surprised. But from within the community who try and cast doubt into these ahadith, these teachings. <laughs>